many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for another Somerset Brilliant Hour review. Thanks for joining me in my new kitchen here. Um, cupboards and tiles and green paint, so it's not yellow anymore. Uh, anyway, down to the beer. Um, I have got from the Great Western Brewery in Hamburg, Bristol. This is their Moose River American Pale Ale. 5% ABV in a 500ml brown bottle. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't had a beer yet from the Great Western Brewery that I've really enjoyed. Um, they're, they're not, they're not, don't get me wrong, they're not bad beers, but they're not sort of really outstanding or something I would remem remember. Um, I'll try and uh, zoom in so you can read that. Um, but I'm guessing this is going to be a sort of, you know, a nice hoppy American IPA bottle over there. Uh, let's pop it open. Not much on the opening there, plain silver crack, gold crack actually. Let's fire it in the glass, shall we? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure like most breweries now uh, are sort of jumping on the hoppy American uh, pale, um, pale ale bandwagon, quite rightly so, because there's so many people really want these beers. I don't think it's bottle condition. No, it isn't bottle condition, so I'm not going to go too crazy. I haven't filled it right up. It's amber in colour. A slight bit of carbonation, half a finger, white head. Let's get the nose in. Doesn't smell at all like an American pale ale, um, but it smells like a nice sort of fruity British IPA. There's a lot of fruit in there, slight citrus aroma. It smells like, um, I would perhaps say, um, I can't think of the name of the brewery now. Um, Sam Smith's uh, IPA, the um, English IPA. It does smell much like that. Very fruity. Slight citrus twang to it. Smells good anyway. I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everybody. And I'm not going to lie to you. It tastes like an English IPA. Doesn't taste at all like an American Pale Ale. It's, it is incredibly similar to the Sam Smith's IPA, which is a, a really good beer. This is not a bad beer, this is a very good beer. It's fruity, lovely bitter aftertaste to it. Very rich, medium body. At 5%, you could almost session this. Carbonation's not massive on it. Nice malty sweetness in there slightly as well. This is a nice beer. But an American Pale, it is not. Um, I'll have a little read of the bottle and see what they're sort of... Well, I mean... A full-bodied pale ale brewed with all American hops, Mount Hood and Chinook. Not too bitter, not too sweet, zesty and fruity to the last drop. Uh, Moose River, situated in a historic bakehouse dating back to the 1700s in the village of Hamburg, Bristol. Oh, right, okay. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, to be honest, I can't find their website on here, so I can't. Oh, yeah. Um, G G W B oh G W Brewery uk. It's a nice beer, but don't expect an American IPA or pale ale. Um, if you if you've had um, Sierra Nevada, don't expect it to be like that because it's nothing like that. Uh, their pale ale. Uh, it's nothing like that. It, it, it is more like the Sam Smith's IPA, which is an English IPA, or British IPA, English IPA, I would say. And it's a nice beer. Um, if, I was to, if I was to rate this on taste alone, not knowing what style it was, and I thought it was an English IPA, not knowing what beer it is, I, I, I would probably give this a 9 out of 10, because it is a really good English IPA. However, it's supposed to be an American IPA, and, and for that, I mean, you're looking at sort of 6 out of 10, because it's nothing like an American IPA. 
I'm going to enjoy this beer. I'll probably buy another, and I would be quite happy to drink it again. But the name is is a little bit misleading. Um, so they need to sort the name out really. If they just call it an English IPA, then fair play to them because it would be it would be you know a good good representation of that style. But it's not an American IPA. Um, but still a nice beer, and I will enjoy the rest of this beer. So that's the Moose River American Pale Ale, which it isn't um, from the. The uh, uh, blah, 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 Great Western Brewery in Hamburg, Bristol. Worth trying. Worth trying if you like your English IPAs. Really worth trying. Um, if you if you if you're after an, uh, like an American IPA, be aware it's not like an American IPA. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you like the new kitchen. Um, love to see your comments down in the comments box. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers, everyone.